Good morning, everyone. I have had viewers ask me, how did I get started with Journey and Kindness? Why did I get started in Journey and Kindness? And today, I'm going to explain how that all came about. Welcome to Journey and Kindness. I am Teresa Ramirez, your kindness coach. So, how did I get here? How did I get started? How did we get started here? Back in 2018, there was a school shooting in Parkland, Florida. And I'm not sure why that particular school shooting um, affected me so. And it might have been by that point there had been an accumulation of school shootings. But I really felt compelled to sit down and write a letter. Dear students. And I sympathized with them. I grieved with them. And then I said, you know what? There is something you can do. You can change your corner of the world for the better. So, then what did I do with that letter when I was done? I kind of sat on it. I know, anticlimactic, but I did. And then in early 2019, I started thinking about it again because I really wanted to reach the students. I felt this message was so important for them. And I needed to expand that letter. And so I sat down started to just brainstorm, throwing ideas out. Uh, and who do you meet during your day? Who do you encounter? How do you interact with the people you meet throughout your day? So I kind of thought about that. And from that, we kind of thought went to journey through your day. So you start in the morning, you see yourself, you see your family, you see you know, your bus drivers, uh, then you see teachers, principals, et cetera, et cetera. And as you go through your day, then I kind of thought, well, you journey through your day. So hence, Journey in Kindness was born. Through my journey to develop Journey in Kindness, I did learn a few things, and I found out that studies show that acts of kindness that you show at each other does change your life for the better. So if I showed you an act of kindness, your serotonin levels would go up, and so would mine. Okay, what are serotonin levels? What am I talking about? Serotonin is what I call the happy hormones, and it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel happy. And so from one act of kindness, two people are feeling happier. Isn't that wonderful? But wait, there's more. And I find this, actually, I find this study even more fascinating. That the act of kindness we shared was observed, we'll say, by 10 people. Those 10 people, their serotonin levels also rise. So from one act of kindness, we have made 12 people feel good feel happier. That's why journey of kindness, or actually that is why acts of kindness is so important. So now where do we go with that? From that one act of kindness, think about it. That one act of kindness, we've got 10 people around us, so there's 12 of us as an example. Um, we have created a ripple of kindness. Now, if we're all going around creating ripples of kindness in our own little world, eventually those ripples are going to merge together and create what I call a wave of kindness. And the process is the wave is going to wash across the country and around the world. That is why journey and kindness is so important, why kindness, acts of kindness is so important because we can change the world with one act of kindness. If we each perform an act of kindness each and every day, think of all the ripples we're going to create and how they are going to come together, to merge together, to create those waves. The more we do, the more waves, the bigger the impact. So don't you want to change your corner of the world to make it better, safer, kinder, happier? So this is why I'm so passionate about it, because we can make a difference. So I'm going to challenge you to look for opportunities to be kind each and every day, because that's what makes 
the kindness ripples makes the waves. So I challenge you to do that each and every day. Now up to this point, or up to the pandemic, I had been speaking live to schools and to women's groups, etc. Well, now we live in a different world. So if you would like to find a new way, something new in virtual learning, please contact me below. And there's a little message on my Dream Kindness Facebook page. So please message me and I will be more than happy to talk to you about customizing a journey and kindness message just specifically for your group or organization. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.